we're telling you Thanks. how that the rubs off on your child and how your child, because of that, treats other people because they expect certain things. Because they expect certain things, they have a privileged and like alpha mindset that they're on top of everyone, that they don't have to look out for anyone else, only themselves to make themselves happy and would never ever go out of their way to include it all or, connects it all connects right yes. and to, it all connects. to include or make someone else's day make someone else happy what the uh, in the chat thing no i don't see it no. Remember when we oh, said earlier how um we didn't like yeah, get a hundred views on our last podcast? Yeah. yeah. Well we have just we hit, hit it? it. Yeah, we have just hit it. Um that, that's oh Fortnite. Um and you know what a statistic I noticed. So our first episode, I'm looking here, we roughly got four hundred views. Okay, second episode around two hundred. Third episode around one fifty. And then our last episode was 100. So each episode has been cut in half by 50% roughly, you could say. Um, oh, but that's double the dog, twice the shit. Yeah. And you guys know we're recording, <laughs> right? <laughs> we're rolling. No. Yeah, I saw it. We've I been saw rolling for a minute. I saw, I saw it in the top, and I was yeah. like, oh. Dude, literally double the dog, twice you did the, the shit. You did the thing again. Yeah, I did it again. Always just, I always do the thing. Double um, the dog, twice yeah, the so, shit. Yeah, so like... I'm hoping, because so I was hanging out with my friends this weekend, and I, like, walk in um, with the mask to this, like, you know, I walk in, we're hanging out, and all of a sudden, I hear my voice, I'm like, yo, I'm not talking, and but they're playing the podcast on the speaker, and, um, sorry about that, we got some, like, feedback, some good, some bad, um, you know, actually a lot of positive feedback, I was surprised, uh, we'll get into why I was surprised later in the episode, um, and we... So me and Ari have been making a list. You want to tell them about that list of like how many people that ask? <laughs> so you know, I'm sure, I'm sure all the people that asked are listening right now. No hate, no hate. I'm <laughs> proud because people yeah, like our podcast. It's um, um but it's, you know, hella people have been on my dick about Clueless lately. <laughs> Wait, are we not doing like a formal intro? Or? I mean, we'll get to. It. Get to it. I mean, yeah, no, we have a basically bad, bad, bad. our list is up to 16 people of people that have <laughs> asked to be on the show, and yeah, hi, clueless listeners. Hey, clueless listeners. Um, what is good, guys, and welcome back to your favorite show, the clueless podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, <laughs> hit that subscribe button down below, <laughs> and once you do so, comment I subscribe to join the clueless family. Also, if you want to shout out on our next episode, DM us proof of a five star rating on Apple Podcasts or a follow on Spotify. None of uh, uh, none of you guys did that in the last ep- uh, in the last episode in the last week. So fuck you guys. You guys are just awesome. Whoa, um, what? No, no, no. Whoa, yeah, no, just do it. no shade we'll to my clueless listeners. Sorry, no shade. Um, make sure to hit that uh, thumbs up. For new content every Thursday, talking about the life of a teenager and, cur- and current events taking over our society. Uh, today's another boys only episode for the boys, of course. Um, we hope Mia will be back soon, uh, but she is working very hard and is very busy herself. She's a so, child actor. Yeah. She is. You know, but that being child said, actor. She has child actor stuff. You exactly. Know? Yeah. You know, a lot of just duties. Like- just like those Fortnite YouTubers, double the dog, twice the shit. Yeah, literally like, zero earnings. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis. Literally dog water. Get on with your on intro, Instagram. Bud. You can find us at the Clueless Show underscore on Facebook. We're Clueless dot show, and on Twitter and TikTok, it's just the Clueless Show. If you're not listening to this on YouTube, iTunes, or Spotify. Uh, on YouTube, we're just clueless. On Spotify and Apple Podcasts, we're the Clueless Show. 
I almost fucked the intro up again. But. Yeah, no, we love yeah. doing that, and my phone is fucking blowing up right now because, um, Bro, yeah, nice. Oh, I keep, not, I feel I like, like I keep doing that, but it just doesn't, you know, correlate. Just but, do it. Um, yeah, no, Mr. Haywood's good. Ari Lesnar here, great intro, great intro. Um, how did yeah. you like? How did Yo, you like good, guys? the uh, 35, 34 plus thirty-five intro? We we are big fans <laughs> of Ariana Grande <laughs> over here. How did you like it? But, oh, you were recording for that. What? For can you stay up all night? Wait, I mean, whoa, 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 you gotta cut that. We don't want to get copyrighted, you know. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> what are you talking? obviously. No, I don't but know you what you you, you recorded about. yourself like a little reaction video to it. Did you did you enjoy oh, the song yeah. overall? <laughs> uh, I really like the song. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 10k great. likes and we'll, we'll, we'll release. The song yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. We'll release the video of you reacting to the song. 10k yeah. likes. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. You 10K. guys, you guys, not 10k. Less than that. Less than that. Speaking of that, like um, a thousand. Yeah, like a, a lot of people likes. loved our last episode, huh? <laughs> you know. Yeah. They they really, yeah. especially from my side, they were very fond. Oh of, my um, god. Our stories, and shout out to you guys because you guys know who you are. Sorry for not asking to talk about you again, but um, yeah, again. yeah. Um, wait, can I bring something up? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Boys, we're going back to school next week. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Great. I'm I'm not That's trying to go back. Uh, bro, we go back on no, inauguration. I don't think day. anybody's trying to go back. We go back on. We go back on what? Inauguration day, the day Joe Biden gets inaugurated. No, it's Wednesday. You wait. So you go back. Well, you you, right, don't. you go back. We go tomorrow, in on right? different days. Uh, when we say yeah. we go back, we mean in person. Yeah, in person. Um. Oh, yeah. Well, I go back shit. Tomorrow. Um. Are you worried about? I that? think the teachers will like give Let us, us time watch. To watch. I know. Do you think? Do you think they'll say anything about it? Do you think they'll even like acknowledge? I mean, it? I think I ha- they you have they will. to. I mean, but I heard like, that someone like some, you know, my mom was telling me what like someone she knows was telling her, um, that like they're nervous about sending their kid to school on inauguration day. It's weird. Really? Really? It su- dude, it I wouldn't sucks so that it has to. For school, I'm not like, scared. I, you know. Yeah. Like in yeah, cities the box with or like exactly. In cities, yeah. I would be much more scared, but <laughs> Really? Not in- I li- I live in a city, but I'm not going in on inauguration day. Yeah. Um I, I mean in New York though, so Um I I feel like it it just sucks that like it's even a thought that people are worried about, you know, going into school on a day that a new president is getting inaugurated to be the president mm-hmm. of our country that we live in. Obviously, no question, it was sparked from the Capitol riots. And, you know, like, yeah. so obviously we, we, we took a week break um, in between. So the last episode that we actually recorded was the, our reaction to the Capitol riots because we did the dating episode before that. And then the Capitol riots happened. We we're like, yo, yeah, we got to do an mm-hmm. episode on this. So we actually haven't recorded exactly. since then. So we're, we're touching on both of our last episodes as we usually do, like giving feedback, you know, f- talking about feedback that we get from our viewers. And so I was just talking about this with my family. And it's just like if you think about some of the issues that exist in our country – how is there a way to meet in the middle? You know, like pro life, pro choice. Oh, I, yeah. It just. I guess. By the way, by the way, shout out because we're calling back on our uh, on our last few episodes. Shout out to the people in our comments saying, uh, "What did what did he say?" Who? I'm not. Do you sure. know who I'm talking about? The guy that uses like a million exclamation points. No. I'm not um, sure. Um, Wait, are you talking about? Name? You, our YouTube post or our Instagram post? YouTube. Somebody commented something. Commented oh, what? No offense, but that intro makes you guys <laughs> look like a bunch of demons. Oh, yeah, no. you're Yo, I, I honestly... No, it, it was... It's a cool intro, but I can't disagree with him. Fuck you. I mean, we are a bunch of douchebags at the end of the day. You know? Maybe... Eh, yeah. I am. Mm-hmm. I'm a douchebag. Yeah. But speaking of what Jared said before, I mean, I there's terrible. always going to be some sort of divide in a country. At least yeah. that's what I think. Like, yeah, there, I don't think there's a way to prevent it. It's, so, it, it's just so, like, extreme, you know? It's so mm-hmm. extreme. It's just so demoralizing, you know? 
<laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but no, I was talking. I was literally just talking to my parents about this. It's like, and you, like some issues, like you just can't meet in the like. Cause I was thinking at first, and like I, one of the issues I would like to think about is pro life, pro choice. So pro lifers believe that you know once the fetus is I don't even know like once there's a fetus you can't kill it because that's taking away a life and that fetus can't decide for itself if they want to live or die and pro choicers say you cannot tell someone what they can do with their body um I and honestly my stance on it is if putting it you're out there. yeah same it and yeah, I realize pro choice true. actually means you can choose not just like you should have the baby so it's just like just you know if you believe that, that's what you believe, right? You believe yeah. that your baby should be birthed and some people, you know, in certain circumstances don't. Why are we letting those minute issues divide our country? It's stuff like that, you know, the right to bear arms. There's a simple fix to that. Just, you know, up the, like, the testing before you buy a firearm or, you know, make yeah, sure yeah. Up the, like have a test have yeah. a test make sure background checks for sure background checks That's make sure police important. are qualified for their jobs it's just like we yes. said in a couple episodes ago it's like a huge ego thing it's crazy like people mm -hmm. have to be consistent on their points and like you know make sure they're always right you know what i mean yeah 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 my my points are all over the place because i agree with uh the right to bear arms and i know some people don't but i don't agree with like a cab but You're i right. agree with mm -hmm. yeah i don't like a cab but That's really i think you know dumb. like because i know we probably think all three of us the same way it's just like you have to be in the middle like obviously all cops are not bad like i know some cops and a lot yes. of them are really yes. good people but it is yes. a fact a proven fact that some cops are bad like racism yes. is a bad thing mm -hmm. and those cops should not be hired to do you know to, to essentially they defend our nation right they per, they make sure everything's yeah. running straight they're they like a teacher in a classroom or a parent in a home and are they, are they be, the last line of defense Does, they're not no the, they count ar as the, the last army line? right probably well, I don't know what the last. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I think that. the it's army kind of is the first, but <laughs> it's like it's like the Yankees and the what'd you say? Uh, <laughs> the Yankees and the Confederates. The Yankees and the, the Confederates. Yeah, man. So I was thinking of uh, Yankee Doodle and how he went to town, and he had macaroni in his hat. Yeah. You know? yeah okay. You know. We have, okay. Right. Wait. I actually. I'm actually curious. What What's your stance on the? And I know a lot of people are saying like. Um, you guys shouldn't bring politics into your podcast. It's going to lose you viewership. But I think the point of our podcast is everything from a teenage perspective while we're still teenagers and growing. Um, we thought that would, when we were starting this would be something that's valued. And that is an issue going on in the world right now. So we're, we can briefly bring it up. If you don't want to hear about the politics, skip to the next part of the episode. Um, but make sure to stay here because we're hitting some other points in the episode as you'll see in the title oh yeah stay tuned else. for four years when we all graduate high school we're gonna have facts. some banger college stories facts and and our trip to <laughs> vegas right we're taking a boy's trip. Our trip to vegas but, we'll vlog yeah. on the trip to vegas yeah and um, so i wanted to ask you what what is your stance and then we'll get into our other points because i don't want to talk about this for too long what is your stance our on, like, stance the, on on, on like, what is your on what, Ari, what is your like you mm. said you agree with like the right to bear arms what's your what's your stance on that i'm curious well i mean i agree with the right to bear arms but I do think that there should be a more thorough test because, like, I mean, right. so sociopaths shouldn't be carrying around fucking weapons that can kill, right? like, a tiger. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That can kill a person. Yeah. That's a big thing. Take away a life. Can you imagine? Yeah. I don't know. That's what we it's saw crazy. in all the school shootings. I completely agree with yeah? Ari. I yeah. think that someone should be able to own a gun to protect themselves, but there should definitely be more requirements and background checks or whatever to make sure that this person is capable of like owning something that, that can out. kill someone you know 
Yeah. It, it has yeah. to be given to yeah. the right person. Uh, and, you know. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. I think you just got to make sure you're not, you know, uh, you're always open minded. Because I know, you know, like my parents and like everyone's parents, right? Pro- most are the biggest influence to their point of view, like in, in everyone's life. And it's important, you know, that you come up with your own opinions. But you also take into yeah. account their opinions because, mm-hmm. you know, it's your it's that's sometimes important. Sometimes they're right. They have yeah. a great influence on. Yes, you yeah, definitely. For sure, we're gonna also hit know. on that later in, in the episode. In quarantine, I didn't. Uh, I don't think I told you guys, but maybe it was like February of last year or something. I was watching this dude on YouTube, and it just proves how much like media can influence your opinion. I was watching this dude on YouTube, and he was. Uh, forget his name, but he was walking around like on college campuses and uh, and asking people, why is Donald Trump so bad? Why is Donald Trump so bad? And the people in these colleges, they were, it seemed as though their answers were incredibly like uneducated answers. So I was like, uh-huh. hmm, why is he so bad? And then through the recent events in media, I went, oh, right. <laughs> That's why right. he's so bad. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I. It's just so interesting, you know. It's just I. I can't even say anything. Like I don't even know. Um, yeah, that's a weird topic that I put in. Anyway, should we should we get to our in the news, or do we want to stay on this for a little longer? I think we can uh, go. Get into, let's the go the into the news. In the news, um. So, we have the luxury today of, um, a day off of school. Not going um, to school. And that is because today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Not his birthday, but it is MLK Day. Um, So it's going to be short and sweet, but today's segment is going to be a little recap on MLK and what he did during his life that made him such an icon and life changer and what he means to us. And then that's going to – you'll – never mind. Mm -hmm. Um, Anyway, so MLK, he was (laughs) born – in Atlanta, Georgia, and obviously, like I said, he was a real icon and life changer for African Americans and just people in general, inspiring them to, you know, get out of their comfort zone, do the unthinkable um, in our country. And actually, a fun fact about him is that he graduated his high school at age 15, going to college where he graduated with a doctorate degree in theology, the study of uh, God and uh, religious and religion. And I think this was spurred because his dad was a priest. He might have been a priest too. I'm not sure. Um, in 1955, he Martin Luther King organized. I know he was a religious. Yeah, man. he was very religious. I know he was a religious man. Yeah, he was. He um organized the first major protest for African American um, civil rights, advocating for civil disobedience and nonviolent resistance to segregation in the South. And while these protests were happening, um. It's no surprise that people that lived down south were part of the Confederacy um, that took place in the Civil War. So a lot of these people did not agree that African Americans should have white uh, should have rights. But uh, Martin Luther King persisted and he kept fighting for what he believed in. He continued to work throughout the country, and by the time that 1964 came around, he had enacted the Civil Rights Act, which which put a stop to racial segregation in the work and education force and and as well as like public facility situations, meaning, you know, like what we learned about in school, how back in the 1950s, black and white people can drink from the same water fountains or sit in the same rooms at restaurants or black people had to sit in the back of the bus, different bathrooms. And, um, he then became the youngest person to win a Nobel peace prize and led his I Have a Dream uh, famous speech before he was sadly uh, murdered in 1968. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't even How know. How old would he have uh, been? Let's see. I think um, – so let's see. Can I remember. Do a little math. I it think. It said he was 15 when he graduated high school. So we don't know what year that was in. Um, no. Hold on. He's he was I, in his forties. Matter. He was in his forties. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He was in his forties, I know that. Um Do you guys have any like reflections yeah, on that? Um I think that this MLK Day is especially important because of the protests 
that we see that we saw spark in 2020 and it acts the day acts as a reminder that there's no place for racism in this country and quite honestly it's sad that we're still fighting for racial equity in 2021 like this is this should have been solved years ago right yeah completely i i had it someone that has you know like a different uh point of view than me tell me you know um and if you're listening to this you probably know you are what's good um tell me that like you know you need a statistic for racism and the only reason that this is happening is because you know stuff like george floyd brianna taylor and jacob blake were broadcasted into the mainstream media and so there needs to be a statistic but i don't i think you know it doesn't come down to the numbers if you're an african american and you do not feel safe walking around in the streets of this country that is a problem in itself and that is what people are fighting for um yeah and it, it, it if you're uh, of any minority right actually and um shit, i forgot what i was going to say that i had another point like I heard, um, you know, when I was watching the Knicks game today, they do an MLK ga- game, and, like, the commentator said, you know, and we touched on this in a couple episodes ago, like, um, you can't tell a person that's been, like, an athlete that's been, like, racially segregated, like LeBron James, who grew up in a poor neighborhood, to shut up quote shut up and dribble because they know what it's like and they're speaking this is what he said they're speaking for the people that cannot be heard and i just think yeah that's really important and that's why we're still fighting for equality yes anyway yeah anything on that um i just think it's great how people are standing up especially the uh the athletes that have a voice i think it's great that they're standing up for the people in their own neighborhoods that they grew up in. Mm-hmm. And I think it's fucking terrible how people, like, uh, the people that say shut up and dribble, that's really right. dumb, obviously, because they have a voice, too. Right. Their their lives are not just meant for basketball. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, yeah. And honestly, like, I didn't even know all of this about Martin Luther King. Like, I didn't know that he, cru- like... Um, led the first protest or that he was that he graduated high school at 15 years old and did all those things and also if you can imagine like probably back then in 1955 it was not an easy thing probably to get accepted into a college as an african-american right wouldn't you think so yeah and Mm -hmm. so he's probably yeah yeah it's probably where did he go i'm not sure i don't know but i know he got a the doctorate degree in theology but um it's just well he must have been pretty smart then yeah no and it's just like a really inspiring story about how you know even though he was real like obviously really sadly murdered and his life you know ended short he still persevered all those years um being in a minority and defying the odds by going to college leading these protests and just overall persistence i remember we learned about in school like how he, his house was threatened multiple times. You know, he fought to get people out of jail, and it's just a really inspiring story how he defied the yeah. odds for something that he believed in. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, that's something I know that really resonates with me. And I, I, I. So we were talking about in our meeting. You know, like obviously we we have review meetings. You know, trying to make this podcast better because that's our job. And we're we're something we're tr- all trying to work on is right correlating things that we see in life to you know these stories that we talk about such as school, um, what's going on in America right now, segregation, racism, and you know, people you know a lot of my friends laugh you know when I say this and you guys might too but I know you guys know this um, so there's a dude right named Logan Paul we all watch him obviously. Yeah, yeah, I know. Inspiration? Inspiration for the podcast? Yes. Um, mm-hmm. He has a brand name, Maverick. So, Logan, if you're watching. Shout facts, out, Impulsive. Facts. We love you. Um, he has a brand name, Maverick. The motto is like, when they go left or when they go right, we go the opposite way. Do the unthinkable. Defy the odds. If people tell you you're crazy, good. Use that as fuel. You know, <laughs> be a Maverick, whatever. Wait, and, I have a question. Yeah. Maverick. Would you consider yourself a Maverick? 
Is it this? Is this <laughs> no, it's like this. No, but actually, like. Oh right, yeah, it's this. But like, don't. Er, no, it's like this or something. Okay. So you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so this. you guys are obviously joking about it right now, right? Mm-hmm. So you guy, I caught you guys red-handed. Okay, that that's fucked up. You know, so and where I'm getting at with this is, um, and this is kind of you know random, but it's it, this is why MLK was so successful. It's because it it's because he um even though people didn't tell him to do something, he still did it and he still was successful at it, right? Um, when other and, people go right, go the wait, other way. Wait, yes. can you answer my question? What? Okay, you yes. Yes, I am. Because <laughs> by starting this podcast, I am. You know, a lot of people okay. are worried about the backlash that they're going to get. And I have a story. This weekend, I was playing basketball with one of my friends, right? And he, he's a creative kid, just like us. And he was telling me, you know, like, he's like, I want to wear this certain, like, clothing item, but I'm not going to wear it to school because I'm never going to hear the end of it, and I can't, I don't want to be affected that way. I want to start making YouTube videos, but I'm never going to hear the end of it at school. You know what I mean? And it sucks that mm-hmm. kids are afraid to do shit. I'm a- and I'm happy um, that we did this, even though knowing the backlash that we were going to get. Uh, speaking of, speaking of that kid being scared of the backlash of starting a YouTube video or wearing new clothes, um, I was scared in the beginning too, so if you're one of those people out there that's like, oh, I shouldn't wear this, I'm gonna get made fun of, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. When I see kids in school and they're wearing something kind of weird, I'm like, eh, but then I'm like, wait, this is fucking dumb, why am I making fun of them? Right. They're expressing Mm -hmm. themselves. Which is what we should all be doing. Wear whatever the fuck you want to wear. And you just, just you know, don't care. About I have a crop top think. that I cut out last weekend. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two hundred likes. Two hundred likes, and we'll post a picture of me and my crop top. All right. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah. You know, I know, especially like this happens in all schools, um, but like where people are afraid to do shit, but like especially. I'm not really sure about you, Ari, but I know where me and Dennis live. Like, this area that we are in, I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to say where we live, but, like, right. The the parenting and, like, the way that kids treat each other and the mentality that they have, like, about, you know, not looking out for other people. And it's not all kids. There's a it's lot of them. It's very competitive where you live, right? right? That. And there's no other way to put it, but like it's just disgusting. I don't go, I don't go to a really big school, but I go to a pretty big school, and uh, like the the people, the people where I live, I live, I've I'm going over the same topic again, but I live in a uh, I live in a city, but I don't live in the city part of the city. <laughs> like it's a small city, but I don't live in the city part. I live like uh, I live like in the middle of the city Mm -hmm. and like the outskirts like it's called the north and then the name of my town but um it's not like super competitive here because it's a large it's a large area and i don't think anybody really has time to be competitive down here and that's just not the uh culture Mm. of where i live and also luckily like when jared was talking about backlash before i feel like that's just kind of how teens are. Right. Like, they're like, oh, yeah. like, just acting stupid. That's just, like, teens. Teens aren't fully developed yet. Just how they act. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And it, but We want attention. Give me attention. Yeah, I agree. Like, yeah, that's true. Um, and We I don't w- want bad attention. I want to, like, respond to Ari said. It's not even, like, like, the competition, because I'm all for some competition, like, you know, Michael Jordan, Last Dance, I'm all for that shit, you know, but it's kind of just, like, the standard over here, and the pressure, right, like, everyone's mom or dad is a doctor, a lawyer, is successful, you know, everyone drives an Infiniti, or a BMW, and it's, it's like, Cadillac. right, you have to, you have to, you know, get to that standard. And an even more, like, pressing issue that I saw 
um, and I'm making another correlation here, is in a TV show that I watch called All American. Season three comes out like in 10 minutes, actually. In an so hour. right after this episode, I'm going to go watch that shit. But there is they live in like an extreme in beverly hills the most rich place in america and all of their parents are even more successful than that and they're mega rich live in a mansion and you see you know kids falling back on drugs and do and you know ruining their lives because they wanted to make someone proud and they and they failed at it yeah but like they wanted to succeed expectations and live up to the hype that their parents did and maybe something went wrong and they just gave up on themselves and it's you know it all comes back full circle like the the pressure that kids put on each other and parents put on kids you know probably ruins some successful people's lives Mm -hmm. yeah um you know i'm a i'm a fucking nerd and I watch. Biology buff. And I watch. That, that is very true. Yep, I'm a fucking nerd, and I watch anime, but I don't watch like the weird ass <laughs> animes. I watch like the cool. And you also play Skyrim. Now. And I fucking play Skyrim like a like a cool person. Yeah. Like the cool kid I am, but um, you know, I just started watching this show called uh. uh this this show called Naruto, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And um. And it's very compelling because the main character, character Naruto, he fails a lot, but in the end, he always has the power—not the power, the determination to rise back up. Mm-hmm. What the? He always has the determination to rise back up after he falls, like he fails a test. It's like a fighting anime. Right. He feels he fails like a, a test or a match, but he always has like this the determination to get back up after he fails, and I just think it's it's pretty cool. And, you know, like, speaking of, um, like, what Ari said, like, his show, you know, Naruto. Naruto, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, coming back from the unthinkable, um, something that MLK did, that requires a certain mental toughness and wit that I know both of you guys have, right? That's why we, and I have, that's why we all, like, our friends, you know, I read somewhere, my mom told me, people, the reason that people, when you gravitate towards someone, the reason why you have things in common is like, because, you know, there's some sort of thing that I don't know, it's, it's really complex, that people gravitate towards each other because they're similar. And, you know, yes, um, we like we understand, you know, the value of stuff. And at the end of the day, right, like, You know, I kind of have friends in my town. I have friends, like, very on and off, but um, it's just, you know, probably why at the end of the day, for some reason, I don't get along with these kids as well as I get along with you. Mainly because, like we said before, in the area that we're raised in, there's, like, a lack of basic mannerism, the pressure, you know. And people only look out for themselves. You know what I mean? And Ari, I know you and both of you um, like have experienced that. When people only look out for themselves. Like, I don't know, I'm not saying this happened. But like, you know, just invite, like, not... In- people, people only look out for themselves. Right. Blatantly right? leaving people out of shit. And like for no reason not you know telling people what they're doing wrong as a friend like i know i I was friends with people and then all of a sudden they just stopped hanging out with me like a while back like years ago and for no reason like i don't know like give me feedback and it's Mm -hmm. just that can really hurt someone too right yeah that it happened it happened to me happened to you Um, that's what i was bringing up yeah it happened to me last year or this year too it happened to me this year or 2020 mm-hmm. but it happened around october and uh or november the beginning of november but i did happen to get feedback and it was because of this one fuck you if you're fucking watching this <laughs> let shit Whoa. go you fucking loser <laughs> oh, shit. um but you know like dennis said it can really fucking hurt somebody how you get left out and like you see stuff on other people's stories oh like, yeah that's a big thing it mm-hmm. could it could it could really hurt somebody like 
if you just drop them for no reason other than like one incident in August and they were kind of annoying. Right, right, right. Sorry. Oh, oh my God, bro. For a fucking hour. I, I know, I but why, why do they do that? It's like, why do they do that? Because, like, no one, it's just the. Because they're fucking bitches. Well, yeah. It's the thing. That's what I was saying. Like, people aren't taught basic mannerisms. Put other, you know, not in all circumstances, but when you're mentally okay, like, how's your mental health? <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. I'm not joking about mental <laughs> yeah. health. I'm joking about, um, you know, one of my teachers asks, hey, guys, how's your mental health? Like, if anyone's actually it's having really, mental health really issues, sad. they're it's really, really, they're, they're really going to, you know, tell in front of the whole class. But, yeah. you know, yeah. it's just like. Look out for people. I always do that. I know I do, and that's why I can speak on it. Like, whenever someone's left out, I always put my best foot forward to get them an invite or something. And I want to go back to what I said at the beginning of the episode. And if you're from my town and you, like, kind of sense that I might be talking about you here, don't get offended. This is just feedback, and this is why we have the podcast. We have our platform to talk about shit that's bothering us in our lives. Um, oh, yeah, know, people in my town, if you figure out that I'm talking about you. Right fucking be offended <laughs> okay <laughs> not in my case but like i was surprised when people co- uh, complimented the podcast you know i was expecting me and dennis you know we we're saying oh okay what's the date we're going back to oh school? yeah I, I was surprised when you said that yeah like what's the date so today's monday we're going back so oh january 20th or whatever yeah january 20th that's going to be the day i'm, where... I'm wondering i'm wondering what i'm wondering how people are yeah gonna react when that, I get january 20th school. when we go back to school that's going to be the day where we get absolutely roasted and shit on and you know Fuck. i've been experiencing yeah. that like my whole life like i used to that's be, just like the culture that's the of culture our grade. and just like teens and we spoke on that before yeah. just teens are like assholes you know what i mean oh i thought yeah. you said jeans <laughs> like Dude, literally this year, like not even when I was in kindergarten, I wore jeans somewhere. And people were like, yo, why are you wearing jeans? Like, like. Yeah. <laughs> That's, you know. I mean, I don't wear jeans. I did that. <laughs> I did. I dressed, you know, a little bit funky in the seventh yeah. grade right. and sixth grade. Like, you you know how I dressed. I think yeah. I dressed that way when we went back to camp during the summer and I looked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't look at the top of my fine. game. You I wore, fine. like black jeans and like a cyan shirt and yeah. i was but you did what you chubby. wanted which is good yeah you didn't but care I, what other I had people a thought head. yeah i was like you know what fuck it and i got i got a pair of um jordans because i thought i thought yeah. they looked cool and good on me when they didn't because i'm a uh i was uh i was a five foot i was a i was just a five foot like one kid with a shaved head and jeans too tight for him, and I was a little bit chubby, and I wore a long sleeve shirt, so. Yeah, and, like, honestly, <laughs> like, because when I was younger, like I was saying, like, I used to be overweight, and I used to be more creative than all their kids, and I used to get made fun of for that. And now I've just, it doesn't happen anymore, because I've learned how to become kind of like an alpha, and like, stand up for myself. And when that does every once in a while come my way, like, um, I know how to take it. Just put it beside me. And honestly, like, we're 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 fucking knuckleheads. It's fun not giving a shit about what other people think. Like, I just yeah. post yeah. random shit on my Snapchat story, and I have like three hundred people that see that, and it's just random and it's like uncalled for sometimes. But like, I don't give a fuck, and that's the best oh, yeah. feeling, dude. Yeah. Like, you, if you're you constantly posted. trying to please everyone, right. that could be so stressful on you. Like, I know. just don't care. Do what you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I like, I posted uh, that science joke yesterday. Like I don't give a when fuck. your sister yes. steps on your yeah, toe. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, "What? What is he doing?" I also posted that video. But, uh, he just like, doesn't care. All right, we posted yeah. that video, um, of us like doing the Coachella Meme? thing. Remember? Oh yeah, uh, like bro, Coachella? I don't give a fuck. Like people got to yeah. stop giving a fuck. Like when did everyone get to be such a bitch? Like why? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's just the culture of people and a competitive nature. But as I said before, I go to a big school and I live in a big city. And uh, I don't think people really care, especially because of the quarantine. I don't think people really care that much anymore what other people think of them. True. At least to me. But if, I don't know, if if people really, really didn't care about what other people, how other people like dressed... Imagine the world that we would live in today. 
That'd be it'd be it'd be a lot more advanced. Like people would, if people just put aside their differences and stopped like shaming other people, like and uh, hating on like each I've other. Seen, I've seen people in the supermarket. I used to have blue hair on the top of my head. I've seen people like in the supermarket in sixth grade, like look at me, like because I had blue hair and then I had blonde hair. Uh, just on the top, and I kind of looked like a skunk. And people were like, ha, 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 you look like a skunk. And I was like, man. You know, it's just so demoralizing, right? Mm-hmm. Funny. Yeah, and it's yeah. just, um, fuck. Oh, it's just like such a biology buff moment, you know? And yeah, an English buff. Big biology buff. The Confederates and the Yankees Right, moment. right, the Confederates and the Yankees. Um, no, nah, but like, luckily, the, like, we're... The Northwest and the, uh... Yeah. And the yeah, yeah. Northwest. Where, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 But luckily, like, yeah. we're aware of that. And, like, I feel like, right, like, I just kind of thought of this, like, the last couple of days. And I told you about this, like, on Xbox. And I just feel bad for the kids that, like, aren't, you know? And, you know, like, those those kind of kids that, that mm-hmm. are Definitely. truly right. upset and have to put on, like, an act every day and go to school and see all the kids, you know, be all buddy-buddy because they were born with, like, a social gift, you know, and some kids can't help that. And it, it, oh, Dude, it's just, like, look out, like, look out for your peers. Like, you you, you should never want to see anyone fall, and obviously, unless they did something to hurt you. And even in that circumstance, maybe not. I am a, uh, I'm a social butterfly. Yeah, you are. Actually, and, yeah. um, and I made I made a lot of friends, and I made a lot of people think I'm weird <laughs> because I just I went up to people and I tried to become friends with them, and I just made a really good friend that day just because I went up to some kid and I was like, "Yo, what's good?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and like we call you a nerd, but like that's a joke. Yeah, like, we're I, not. I, I, don't, yeah, I don't we all joke with offense. each other mm-hmm. like. Like the mm-hmm. three of us. Like you make fun of me all the time, and I don't right. care. Yeah, like, like I used to. It. We are, like, I know. For, I don't know. Like for you guys, you guys are like probably the closest outside of my immediate family. Like the closest people in my life that I tell the most things to. Like, so you know, if obviously if it's in the right context, you can make fun of someone. But just like, just don't, don't, yes. don't be a dick. We're not even saying like. You know, fuck bullies and all that stuff. Like, cause that's broad. We're we're getting into the details and yeah. Um, kind of on the same topic. Just Dennis, like fuck fuck people that discourage other people yeah. for the way they dress. The way they dress for the their, their dreams. And the, and there's also like what Jared was saying before. There's also a lot of teens who like don't know how to speak up for themselves and don't right. know what's happening. And that's why we're putting this out there, so they know, like, don't care. Like, you shouldn't be caring about what how other people are seeing you just like yeah. don't give a fuck just right. do what you do yeah. yeah do what you do what uh, do whatever the fuck you want mm-hmm. be, be a nerd a like our listener be a clueless yeah be, be a nerd like me <laughs> clueless Take it from, uh, <laughs> no dude be a clueless listener, be a clueless or... a clueless do... <laughs> should we all right let's make a name for you guys should we make a name for them we can do that off air because it's going to take nah. a while because, yeah. like, clueless errors, yeah. that's kind of weird. No, but, like, it all, like, stems from, I guess, the parenting, right? And, you know, a lot of people where we live are coddled. Just, like, co- like I know some of my old friends that, like, obviously every kid wants to order Chipotle or sushi or Chinese food every night. And, like, you know, not everyone loves yeah. when their parents cook. Um, but this yeah. kid just expects... Um, you know something to be ordered and my he somehow some excellent salmon tonight. yo same my mom made salmon too the heck, oh yo, salmon wait game. tonight yeah yeah tonight. do you have salmon bro too? i had salmon too no fucking way <laughs> yo are you serious I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm being serious it's funny. that's actually funny um, oh my god yeah no i guess we mother. all had salmon she, made, she makes um, excellent salmon sam, yo salmon that one's pretty fucking good, but like, kind of fire. Really good for you. Lots yeah, no, protein. it's just the expectation, like, of that. And, you know, I want I told you guys this, like, yesterday. So, right, I was working out, and my sister was kind of annoying me. She's seven years old, and she was asking, like, can I play a game on your Xbox? And I, previously, earlier in the day, 
my mom was trying to get her to read her book for school and she didn't want to do that you know i don't blame her i don't like reading i like listening to books and taking the information like reading. dennis reading knows, sucks dennis knows that but i, like I don't reading. like reading the words off the page reading. ari likes reading but so i understand audio books like are fine but sometimes in life you got to do shit that you don't want to do and uh, a lot of the times the parents in our neighborhood don't uh, make their kids do that and they are coddled and they have no sense of manners and toughness so i told my sister that if you read this book or no I, first i told her that i'll buy her you know the game because i didn't want her to be on my xbox but i said i said you know you're gonna have to work for it and my mom says that to her to her all the time and she she's obviously extremely little still developing and so are we but like she knows yeah. she she knows that her friends around here and her like are coddled too and they don't have to work for anything they can get you know their games from their parents for free without having to do anything and she's like she started crying why do i have to work for everything and you know i didn't really know how to explain it to her so i just said you know you want to you're going to be better than them. And that's what I want. That was my goal. So she read the book, and I bought her the game. She's probably playing it right now. Well, but you gave her $7. $7, yeah. Right? Yeah, a little... In you know, cash. Minecraft. A little, like, feel-good moment, you know? And Dennis, this also... Yeah. You were saying when we were prepping, I, I I really wanted you to talk about this. Oh, do you want me to bring up... Yeah, the, yeah please I bring, bring that up. up. Like, that is I so mean, valuable, it, like, this episode. It relates, kind of. This all so, relates. So, this... Yeah... An important, this important point is about the value of money. And my mom was talking to me about this before. Mm -hmm. It's, so, here, just preface. Yes, I'm, ve I'm very privileged, and I've gone on nice vacations with my family, stayed at the Four Seasons, at the Ritz-Carlton, and I'm very lucky to have the money to be able to do that. But my family understands the value of money. And when I'm saying that, I mean... We make sure we have enough money stored away, like save for college, retirement, yes, other things. Yes, safety proof. Right. Yeah, before we are indulging in nice things. In other words, we're not just blatantly spending money like other families that we know are doing in like, our community. What Jared was saying, I mean, like, how, like, if someone's parents are just blatantly spending money over and over, not caring like it's gonna rub Not, off on their kids right. you know what i yeah. mean yes yeah. yeah and that connects to what jerry was saying like why why do i have to work for this why can't i just get this that's f because you said it was from her friends right because yeah like friends... all of her friends have it but they didn't have to do anything to get it mm -hmm. wait yeah. i want you to keep going I mean, on this a deep topic i want you to keep going on this but you know we're not telling if a parent's watching this we're not telling you how to you know, parent your parent kid because I know people get really offended by that, and that's a whole other thing. People get so yeah, offended. Parent, when did everyone get to be such a bitch? Really but um, um, <laughs> we're not telling you, but we're telling you <laughs> how that the rubs off on your child, and how your child, because of that, treats other people because they expect certain things. Because they expect certain things, they have a privileged and like alpha mindset that they're on top of everyone that they don't have to look out for anyone else only themselves to make themselves happy and would never ever go out of their way to include it all or, connects it all connects right yes. and to, it all connects. to include mm -hmm. or make someone else's day make someone else happy um mm -hmm. right and like but if you're a kid if you're a kid take this into consideration always mm -hmm. have a safety yeah. net that's what my parents taught me that's what their parents taught them rubs off Always have a safety net, you know? I mean, Jared, like, summed it up pretty well, but... Yeah. He's just, like, the main point is your parent, like, your parents' actions, they're going to rub off on your kids and impact how they're yeah. acting around yeah. other people. And, like Jared was saying, make them... What did you say? I forget. It was, like, make what? fun of... I forgot what oh, you said. So it was, like, like, making fun of other it, people. It, 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 um, it rubs off on them on, on the fact that, like, they now, because they think... You know, because they have, they have their life going for them so easy, right? They don't have to work for Oh, shit. yeah, yeah. Caring for only about yourself. Right. That's, yeah. I mean. They're getting good grades. Oh, they're it doing... can also be it can also be demonstrated. And uh, we were talking about the subject before, Martin Luther right. King Jr. How racism, mm -hmm. how racism affects other people. Like yeah. if you 
Uh, if your parent goes out and is blatantly racist to people and mutters You're things under their breath, too. kids will take that into con- right. Yeah, it all because kids are impressionable. That's how I'm gonna try and finish what I said before. Yeah, please, I, I lost please, my train of thought because I'm my stupid. Bad. To sum up Jared's point, he was saying that the parents' actions are gonna rub off on their kids, and if they're just blatantly spending money, then the kid is gonna only learn to like care about himself, which would put another kid down. And it, like, connects to everyone because then that kid could be sad and rubs off on other people. All, it's all connected, like we were saying. Yes. Right. And so yeah. here's, here's like, I agree with this. And I, I was thinking about this when I was thinking about the episode. I am just not, like, sure because – so, right, by doing that, you by not spending money as a parent, you're trying to get your kid to be successful. And when your kid is successful, they should be able to appreciate the work that they put in to get successful, right? And that includes doing whatever the hell they want, maybe buying an extra car, buying, you know, clothes or going on nice vacations. How are people going to, you know, like appreciate the hard work? Because I know, like, I know when I grow up, like, I'm going to work so fucking hard. Like, I don't, like, I don't care. I'm going to get to where I want to get in life, which is be, you know, an influencer or whatever, probably doing this. Um, and I, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. It, but you know, when I, when I get there, I want to appreciate it. So I, you know, you have to find that balance to kind of teach your kids discipline. And I know people like LeBron James, like I've heard him talk on, like he has that issue. His, his children will never experience what he went through as a child, as a poor child. And I saw, I know, I saw your text, um, as a poor child. Um, and so his, you know, he, he will never, his kids will never have that grit, but he's going to have to find a way around that. And like, speaking of grit, I honestly, like, I'm lucky that, you know, and we're lucky that we have this inside of us, that fire. Like, I kind of wish that I was never raised in this town and I will never raise my kids where I live because I don't want them to have to deal with the you know those sad nights that I had to deal with when I was little you know not being invited to someone's birthday party and just being completely undermined as a human as a person and it's not a good feeling you know we, we were talking about just like basic mannerism and just being a nice person and that's why like I love camp so much our camp isn't considered jappy by any means and there's a lot of camps that are which are filled with people unlike us that live around these areas and are just completely inconsiderate and, and, I, and in it. when when i when i talk to some of the people like you from our camp i was literally just in shock like that someone wasn't judging me when i wore a chain you know and when someone wasn't judging me when i wore a headband on the basketball court or that I had like a nickname oh, yeah. or something or someone wasn't judging me yeah. for being, you know, JJ. 10 years old at the time and working out. Like, it's weird. It's, yeah. Because, can I, can I you want to yeah, go? Yeah, or? that's what, yeah. Go. It's just weird because it's like at school, everyone is like making fun of all these kids. But then the second you go to camp, it all just goes away. I don't know why yeah, it's like breathe. that. Like, well, yeah, you can breathe. It's not it's not like a pressured environment. I mean, mm-hmm. I I have a fucking crop top and um and <laughs> I sent it to a group it. chat. Right. What? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Uh I have a crop top and I well, one, I plan on wearing it at camp. And uh and two, I just I really don't give a shit what other people think. And three, I sent it to a group chat with like all the kids in our bunk who I will admit some of them are a little bit mean. But in good spirit, and I didn't say don't send this to the big group chat because I don't care, and I think I look fucking like a pro in it, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. Do whatever the yeah. fuck you want. Overall punch, do not let anyone hold you back. Um, like, you know, the kid you know, um, that you're, I hope you're watching this, um, like you were telling me, you know, you're afraid to start doing some stuff that you want to do because act. you're afraid to get judged by our grade which is um atrocious and uh it's 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 a scary situation you know it really is 
And, like, I was watching this YouTube video last night. Uh, Jesse James West, he's a bodybuilder. And, like, he actually just moved out to L.A. because, you know, he was doing really good with his channel and his his um, clothing line. And that's one of my dreams to eventually move to L.A. and be an entrepreneur. Clueless um, house. Right. After we graduated. He college. was saying, like, because he played college lacrosse. And that's when he first started making videos. And people <clears throat> would make fun of him for it. But he just kept going. And now he for like about three years yeah. and now he is where he is today and he was saying like you know now people i get all these dms from people on my lacrosse team and on other lacrosse teams oh remember me you know i people always made fun of you for it um but i always supported you that's how those those people are going to turn around on you eventually like just fuck off like just Bottom just be theaters. a good fucking person Cloud chasing. just be a good person you know Cloud chasing, good person yeah, yeah. this uh, episode was kind of all Eight over years. the place no, it wasn't. We 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 had a bunch of. I mean, I I love this episode. It was it was it was good it was points. Very valuable. Yeah, I like this episode. I mean, I mentioned that I had a crop top, and I mentioned yeah. that I watch anime. So yeah, yeah. a no. little bit weird, but this is another. thing. But I didn't buy the crop top. I made it. He cut it. So that's yeah. how you know I'm a real person. I right. did cut it. And he and like a hundred likes, and good. we'll reveal it. 100. Yeah, hundred likes, 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 we'll and we'll post a picture of me on the Instagram. Ten thousand likes, and we'll um, get yeah. the video out of Ari uh, reacting to the Megan The Stallion, Ariana Grande, Doja Cat, a uh, thirty-four. 35, no, I think we should do like in my crop top. Two hundred. No, no, not two hundred. I think a thousand. A thousand. Okay. That's ten thousand's a bit much. Like a thousand. Yeah, you no, guys. You guys have a month yeah, a to get it to a thousand likes, and you guys probably do want to see the video. So, yeah. Um, Wait, which uh, this episode? Yeah, yeah, this, episode, yeah, this right? episode. You guys have a month to do yep, it. Yep, this episode. Yeah, um, no, we're gonna scary. promote the hell out of it. We gotta, we gotta get. We're gonna promote get, it. Get so your much. mom, your brother, your sister, your grandma, your grandpa, your uncle, your cousin, Don't your best get friend every single to person like it know, to and like view it and subscribe. Stop! Stop! Stop. <laughs> yeah, no. dude. Uh, overall, <laughs> I mean, dude, like. I just can't keep. I just just don't be an asshole, dude. Like people, that's suck. Yeah, don't be fucking people don't. fucking suck, ass, bro. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, guys. Balls, dude. Just be a good person, you know. Just be balls. Like, I don't even be a good person. Obviously, there's so many right. thoughts here. And yeah, yeah. We could All like right. go on for hours, you know. Outro call. Outro. I guess so, Tra. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Outro? Question mark? All right, anyways. Um, yeah, outro. I'm thinking, should I bring up this one point I have? Kind of touches on the no, last what? episode. It's like Wait, really what? Wait, what? Okay, what? okay. Dennis sleep, really wants to know tomorrow. now. Okay, okay. It's fine, man. Sorry, oh sorry, God. buddy. Okay, it's, it's really quick. So, last night on Xbox, like, um, Ari... Another Xbox. Like, someone asked why... Because, you know, kind of relating to the last episode, why I don't have a girlfriend and this sounds like a really douchebag like kind of douchebag thing to say thing, thing to say right but the reason i don't it's or bad. is because number one i probably don't try as hard as i should but number two is like i don't see anyone or know anyone that i feel like is on the emotional maturity oh. level that i am and can like no you said like you said like I mental do. this person like, you said every girl in the grade is not, like, on my mental level or something like that. Yeah. And you, you thought yeah. that was, like, a juicy Which thing. Which is but like, fucked. It's not I mean, fucked. It's kinda, how is it fucked? I don't understand stuff. it. Explain to me how it's fucked. I know it sounds I mean, you're saying, like, your mental capabilities are... No, yeah, I, that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. I, I just, I, I don't just know. Mean, to me, I just me, mean... I it comes off like that. I just mean, like, I think of things, like, a little differently than people. And I don't want like i don't want to be discouraged by like bringing a girl into my life that doesn't understand that you know you know what i mean that and i guess i don't know pro, guys he just is really good yeah, at yeah shut the fuck up yeah shut the fuck up all right I, I guess i don't really know you know if there is that person but anyways he's just on a much higher intellectual level than yeah he's on a higher no. mental <sighs> capability oh, of dude, i don't mean it like that i don't mean <laughs> it in like an asshole kind of way like i know i sound you just, like an asshole wait, what you're trying to say is i want there's no one who thinks like me no so and well, i i i thought that's what you were trying okay, to say okay okay I'll okay, okay. we all get it we all get it jared's a douchebag so anyways thank you guys for watching yeah. you can find us at clueless on youtube subscribe spotify and apple podcast as well at the clueless show and remember to dm Instagram. us proof at the clueless so show give you yeah, yeah yeah a shout out uh dm us proof of your follow and 
uh, your fall on Spotify <laughs> and five star rating on Apple Podcasts for a shout out in our next episode. Thank you guys for doing that in this episode. We are at the Clueless Show on Twitter. Follow me and on TikTok. Instagram at Ari dot Lesnar. At the Clueless dot Show on Facebook. Make sure oh to like God. and subscribe for new content as well as short clips coming your way every Thursday. Comment and subscribe once done, so we can tell the reels apart from the fakes. And any last words, guys? We like Fortnite. Uh, everyone have fun. Wait, Goodbye. hold on, hold on. I have to Bye. go to bed. We like Fortnite. Oh I have to go to bed.